Spirit guys, angels, and ancestors of my highest good. What is coming to my Virgos? <laughs> Why are you being a hater? What's coming to my Virgos in the next couple days? He gonna go and lay right by my phone. <laughs> What's coming to my Virgos in the next couple days? We have had enough in reverse. Beanie, can you move out the way? Why would you do that? Why are you in the way? Why are you being a hater? So, Virgo, if I can't give you no messages, he interfering in the messages. What you want? Because he wants some attention. You better go on somewhere. You've been doing this since 4 a.m., Benny. I don't have time for this. I gave you lovies already. You want more lovies. He want me to rub him back to sleep. Looks like Virgo. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to wait. Sorry, Virgo. Let me see. I'm going to see if I could do this video in. Um, <laughs> what's coming to Virgo? We have too busy winning. I feel like you're winning, Virgo, in the next couple days. You're focusing on yourself, and this has somebody mad, upset. All right. Whoever this is, this broke ass that keeps fake flex in here. This person could be coming towards you or this person is like watching you. I feel like somebody's like watching you win in the next couple of days. This person could have possibly tried to attack you. All right. I feel like you're immune to the attacks and a player could have tried to attack you. But then it's like they could be coming to you or broke ass. They could be coming to you in the next couple of days for some reason. Yeah. Whoever this is, they can't talk shit about you no more. So we're talking shit in reverse. This person could be trying to force some type of STD on you, something that you don't have, and they're threatening their your light irritates their demons because you're moving on from this person. It's like, ah, uh, let's see, Virgo. Yep, somebody's a spiritual hater. They're mad. Somebody's a spiritual hater. They they could be coming in to like um. It's like something is not over. Okay, this is an impersonator here that could be um, hating on you. They're extra triggered. There's a copycat that's extra triggered by you, Virg, for some reason. So let's see. Why is this copycat extra triggered by Virgo? Who is this copycat, this impersonator? This came out in Libra reading. I feel like this is an energy here that's not being seen or they're not getting some type of justice or something is not going in their favor, going their way. But I feel like it's going your way. All right, this could be in the matters of love or somebody's false twin flame is leaving them. They're abandoning them and they're walking away from them. There's no love there. There's no harmony. And I feel like there's someone that wants to come towards you. Give me impersonator, extra triggered. Who is this impersonator who's extra triggered? The seven of Cups. This is someone here that's very much confused or delusional. Yeah, a queen of pentacles. It could be a Capricorn. This could be somebody's options. This could be a um this could be a torso of Virgo or Capricorn. Someone could have been trying to confuse you, Virgo. This could be somebody that's jealous. This could be a gold digger that could be creeping. They can't say something about you or they can't talk about you or whatever this is. Um, this could be someone here that's um like not a good mother. They're not taking care of their kids. They could have tried to do some type of confusion magic on you, or maybe this is one of somebody's weak ass options. That could be confused or they're delusional or something here is about a smoke and mirrors. You don't see something when it has to do with this queen of pentacles in reverse. This person wants to look like you. Give me the queen of pentacles in reverse. Who is this person? Eight of wands. They could be caught. They could be calling you or they could be sending some type of shots your way or they're trying to send some letters your way. They could be wanting to talk to you about something. Or they could be calling you talking about something here. We have this the hierophant energy about them not getting their way when it comes to this organization or something like that. A queen of pentacles here in reverse could be like reaching out to you. This this energy, they could be doing some sort of dark magic. We have the nine of wands in reverse. I feel like this person has a chip on their shoulder. They could be telling you that they're dropping their guards. Yeah, this is a fake ass friend. The three of cups in reverse that's under judgment. This is someone here that's under judgment from doing something hateful. The five of swords right along with this group.
They don't even take care of their kids. This is someone that's very vindictive. They're not a good mother. This could be a sex worker. Yeah. They're going through a tough time. The page of pentacles is in reverse. I feel like this person's lack of commitment is the reason why something is happening. They could be procrastinating or this person's just not trying to learn from some type of mistake or, or failure here with the page of pentacles in reverse. They're not doing their shadow work. They're not learning like ah, the knight of sword. Yeah, this person is just... I just feel like they're very vindictive and spiteful. They could be um, a social climber. They're confused why somebody's moving fast. They're like, oh, how is Virgo moving fast? Or how are you able to move forward and things are picking up for you? Yeah, the her the her um, hermit. Because I'm getting... Or how is something... I don't know. It's like they want to know how something is picking up and moving forward for you. And they going through what they going through. I feel like they did a lot of spell work. And this is why, yeah, the moon in reverse. I feel like this energy is very paranoid because of a secret that's coming out about them. It's an earth sign. They're paranoid about the secret coming out about them, bird. We have the hangman. Mm-hmm. So you could be getting a new perspective and releasing this devil. Cause some, I feel like this person could have tried to force you to take a risk or start some type of new beginning with them when they're losing their wealth or they're losing some type of um success. They're trying to force you to take a new beginning with them, knowing that they're stuck in some type of, uh, they're stuck going to jail or this is someone that could be losing something and they want you to be by their side. This could be a feminine energy. They're like, well, can you be by my side? I'm getting locked up or whatever this is. And they're mad because they took their power back. I feel like this person, like, I don't know. There could be another Virgo here that's a scammer. That lives beyond their means. They're exhausted. They're burnt out. And they're restless. What does this have to do with Virgo that I'm reading for? What does this have to do with Virgo that I'm reading for? We have the tower. I feel like these energies are trying to avoid some type of tower. So maybe they could have been trying to scam you, Virg. Okay, and now they're trying to avoid a tower. There's a king of cups that could be like in love with you or this person like wants you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah. This person wants to be empathetic or they want to come and support you with the page of swords in reverse. This is because they got legal issues. This could be surrounding a home. A king of cups has to move. A king of cups could be playing mind games with you surrounding the home too as well. They could be trying to manipulate you. Mm. What's the tower in reverse? Scorpio, Aries, energy. Next couple of days for Virgo. We have the fool. Yeah, I feel like either you could have you could be over something or something is over for, for you. You escape some type of tower. You escape some type of danger or something like that by getting over a situation. Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So, and I feel like Virgo, somebody's losing out on their opportunities, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this could be some type of bad, um, somebody missed their chance with you because of a hidden agenda with the High Priestess in reverse. Yep, their hidden agenda was to steal, to take from you, to cause you to be in debt or to do something like, yeah, somebody wanted to do this to you. And they didn't think that you were going to use your intuition or they didn't think that you know where the thieving, thievery shit was coming from. I'm getting you do know. Now these energies are trying to avoid a tower or they're trying to escape some type of inevitable end. They're trying to break free from this now because either they're losing, they're losing valuable items with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse because of whatever this head and gender. This, is, this could be some type of um, unwanted attention coming towards these thieves. That could have been unfair. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, somebody's love life is looking like shit. Their money is looking like shit. Everything is looking like shit. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? And I'm getting they all work together in cahoots. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Yep. And the Magician. This could be a superficial magician. Somebody's very superficial. They're unreliable. I'm getting this person's a deadbeat. They could have been doing some type of money spells to slow your money down. This could be a Virgo or a Gemini. This could be a Virgo that was doing this. So there could have been another Virgo or somebody with Virgo placements that was doing some shit because they're superficial. Or this could be this energy like that's manipulating people to work for them for free. Like, well, can you do this for me for free? 
and I'll pay you back. Yeah, a Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm. And somebody been working for free, not getting paid. Maybe this could be talking about you being a perfectionist. Maybe something here has to go, right? I feel like this energy could have manipulate all of these energies here. What's the magician? Somebody did some spell work to slow your money down, slow your finances down. The Four of Swords. Yeah. I'm also getting... What's the magician with the Four of Swords? Somebody also could have did some type of manipulation work to make peace with a situation or I feel like somebody's doing something over somebody's body. I'm hearing somebody saying over my dead body. Literally, there's a magician standing over somebody's body. Somebody's doing some spell work over someone's body, like for real. This could be someone doing something over your sleep or whoever this is, they were caught doing something over somebody's sleep while they were asleep. This could be somebody that's superficial. They were materialistic. Somebody could have been doing some type of magic to keep someone sleep, to keep someone stuck, or to keep someone in this uh, hypnotized, I'm getting hypnosis. Yep, to keep them trapped and stuck. There was some type of hypnosis magic being done to keep somebody stuck. Eight of swords, so that a cycle could remain open. A king of pentacles in reverse. A user, or so that this king of pentacles in reverse could stay a cheater or like be blocked by obstacles right along with this queen of swords in reverse somebody like this is a this is a weird this is weird what's the magician four of swords here for virgo we have the four of cups yeah what's the magician four of swords four of cups five of pentacles in reverse what's the magician four of swords four of cups yep the seven of swords i feel like there's an energy that could be like working with the energies to make someone stay asleep and they could be trying to stealth themselves. This is another Virgo. This is a Virgo doing this. They're trying to stealth their energy or cloak themselves. Like, oh, that's not me doing this magic. I'm not the one that's tricking you. Or um, this could be some form of glamour magic I'm getting that's being done. Whoever this is, they could have got dropped from an organization. Or whoever this is, they could be a false prophet. The Hierophant in reverse. Somebody's doing glamour magic. So they're not so that they're not seen as a thief, a liar, or a trickster. Yeah. But I feel like they got caught. This could be someone here that just broke up with someone. The hangman. We have somebody here just went through a breakup. We have the emperor and the devil in reverse. So this emperor don't want to be toxic no more. They want a two of cups, ten of cups. Okay, let's see. And let's close it down. What else for Virgo? Child. What about these uh happiness haters and these people that's been talking talking mess? Why are they talking mess about you guys? What's going on with these people that's talking mess about Virgo? What about Virgo? Why are they talking crap about Virgo? Seven of Swords because they got caught in the act. Yep, the Four of Cups. Now you could be rejecting these people. You want nothing to do with these people. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse that could have legal issues. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, a Cancer energy here, or a Scorpio, or a um, Pisces, this person has some type of legal issues. Or this person could have ran a smear campaign about you. Now they could be going through some type of... They're getting bad news. A Queen of Cups is getting bad news. This could be in regards to money. Give me the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Page of Swords in reverse. Why are they getting bad news? Yeah, this is the one that's trying to avert some type of tower. It's the Queen of Cups. They have some type of fear of change. They're up trying to avert some type of disaster. But this could be legal issues. Maybe this person's getting sued. Maybe this person has to come clean. They're getting punished right now. Give me the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Tower. They could have cancer placements. Yeah, the Three of Cups. It could be a coven, a group of energies. Yep. This is a coven. They could have been celebrating. Yep, the Nine of Swords on attacking you. This could be energies that could have been laughing about attacking you. Now there's trouble coming out about these energies. The truth is coming out about them. Yep. And I feel like you're going to have the last laugh, the Nine of Cups, because you're getting something that you want. So whoever this Queen of Cups is, they could have been manipulating this group. Now they're losing. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. All of their advancements. 
um they're disorganized this could be this energy like working with no like they working and not getting paid enough money or something here is just like it's just not working for them this could be a cancer a gemini this is all because of what they chose to do what's this uh queen of cups seven of pentacles in reverse this person possibly did some type of magic we have the nine of wands now their energy is scattered very chaotic type of energy this person's frustrated now they could be dealing with some type of um sexual health issue or std or something like that nine of wands and they're scattered yep the ace of swords that's the truth it's a cancer or whoever this is this person could have tried to attack you attack your finances here with the ace of pentacles in reverse they wanted you to miss your chance or lose out on opportunities seven of wands here leo energy i feel like this person ganged up with a lot of people the three of cups and they laughed at attacking you they laughed at um you missing some type of opportunity too here as well or are you fumbling your money 1555 they cause a lot of chaos and 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 shit in your life now it's like you have this inheritance that's coming towards you and these energies are in the five of cups because they didn't do their shadow work it's a group of people that have to make peace with taking a fall from grace or they have to make peace with um being the six of wands in reverse and the five of pentacles and in judgment in reverse because they lied on you for some of you this could be somebody that you share a family with that lied on you virgo what's the messages here in closing what's the seven of wands yep nine of wands i feel like this could be an attack or you stood your ground or you standing your ground with these energies have put them in a nine of wands now they're feeling like the wounded warrior because they feel like you're attacking them oh i have to have my guard up because i was the one that started attacking you first now i'm being caught red-handed now it's like since you're standing your ground i'm the nine of wands now I have to put my guard up because I started this shit with you and I'm trying to avoid a tower. These secrets is coming out about me. These secrets are, it's forced to be revealed. The Ten of Wands, the Sun, this hidden agenda, it's, it's being forced. So it's like somebody has to deal with them same burdens that they put you through. They have to move or for some of you, they could be going through some type of harsh ending or they have a lot of responsibility or... This could be this in energy like this can they was disconnected from their intuition. This could be a false prophet. We seen the high pre uh the high uh hierophant in reverse. Excuse me, the hierophant was in reverse. We seen the hierophant in reverse. Okay, so this could be two false prophets that could be getting exposed right now, or they being seen for who they truly are. Give me the sun with the high priestess in reverse. Somebody was trying to attack your intuition. Like I said, there's a false prophet that's under judgment. This false prophet could have maliciously gossiped about you. There was some type of misunderstanding. Or somebody was working with this person to send some type of unwanted attention towards you. They were blaming you. Or somebody was blaming a... I don't know. I don't know who the fuck this high priestess in reverse is. I feel like somebody could be getting exposed from doing some dark magic as well. Virgo yep somebody's exposed from doing dark magic there is a magician over here that could be keeping a lot of people asleep so that or they're trying to hide their way of being being in this this shit but we have the high priestess in reverse that's being exposed so i feel like this energy could be having some type of out outburst they're headed from destruction this is not their calling. Being a false prophet is not their calling, whoever this is. They're, they're facing, oh, they could have falsely accused you or judged you. They could have blamed something on you, maliciously gossiped about you. It's a high priestess in reverse. They're the five of pentacles. This person's like spiritually bankrupt. That's what I'm getting. Or they gifts, yeah. I feel like you're just tempered. You have Sagittarius energy. You can have Sagittarius placements. What's the temperance? The lovers. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, this could be a Sagittarius wanting to come towards you or a Gemini. There's a Gemini. Somebody wants a relationship with you or they want balance, peace, and harmony or somebody's dealing with the same sex. Could be a Sag. What's this temperance and the lovers? The seven of cups. Yeah. In reverse, the chariot. Um, Somebody's blocked also. They're not able to move forward. Cancer energy. We have Scorpio. This could be um, somebody's not confused of who their lover is. Or who they want to be with.
So I feel like there could be like peace, balance here within a lover's connection or a soulmate connection. Somebody could also be dropping the illusions, dropping of distractions and the uh the the third parties and shit. The lack of I feel like whoever this is, they're a bit aggressive because they're blocked by some sort of obstacles due to them being careless. They were very arrogant. The cherry in reverse is like someone that's not persevering. This could be a cancer. This person's not confused why they're blocked, or maybe someone here's like lose lost their vehicle, or their vehicle could be spiraling out of control. We have the nine of cups. Yeah, somebody could have been laughing about someone losing their vehicle. Or they could be laughing about blocking you. Maybe they had you blocked one time before um why they reconcile with a lover and then it's like I don't know, it's like they could have laughed about how putting these obstacles in your way. Yeah, somebody thought something was real funny. They're like, yeah, I'm going to block you. I'm going to put these obstacles in your way, and then I'm going to laugh at you. But I feel like you already know who this is. You're like, yeah, okay. But you took your power back. What's the, what's the nine of cups? Something that you, you're getting something that you want. Yeah, the five of cups. Somebody was laughing at you while you were crying or while you were going through some type of grieving time. Now you've healed with the star card. This is the energy that's laughing at you while you were down. Say like if you was walking, you didn't have no car or, you know what I mean? The chariot was in reverse. Maybe you was like your chariot, your forward movement was blocked. This could have been someone here that was very satisfied about blocking your wishes or making something like um, harder for you. Like car troubles. Say like if you had car troubles, yeah. They, they, they love making this shit harder for you. So now they're going through some type of despair. This is like an energy that, that could have been crying. Um, say like if you were crying, like you was going through some type of emotional loss, right? There was another energy that was laughing at you because of what you were going through. Now this person's going through something similar that you had to endure. You took that shit to the chin. Now they have to take it to the chin, but theirs are going to be a lot worse. For some of you, y'all have released yourself from this bad karma. You're not, you're not even stuck anymore in this bad cycle. You've been released yourself. You're, oh, you're you're free from it. No more negative thoughts. And I feel like somebody keeps trying to bind you. The magician in reverse. Somebody keeps trying to bind you while they're going through the karma. See, somebody's, somebody else is stuck in this wheel of fortune in reverse. Not you. Whoever this is, they keep trying to bind you to the same shit that you have already healed and grew from. You already freed yourself from this karmic cycle. And I feel like this energy keeps trying to bind you again and again and again they want to bind you especially through money through finances it's a no what's the will of fortune in reverse i told you somebody wants to bind you through finances through money what's the will of fortune in reverse six of wands yeah it's like somebody's going to be seen publicly like going through some type of setbacks all right this could be the attention that they wanted they wanted the attention so bad so now they're going to get the attention but they're going to be seen going through this karma. This could be somebody here that was hating on you. Or this could be somebody being seen on a public platform or as a winner. But they, behind the scenes, they're going through they're going through a will of fortune. What's the, what's the six of wands? Yeah, the ace of swords. They're going through a Jupiter retrograde. But in a public eye, they're, they're seen as a true, somebody here that has mental clarity. Okay. What's the six of wands, ace of swords? Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Somebody could have been judging you because you have a platform or you're getting victory. The same people that judged you because of your platform or because you're getting victory, they're going through a backfire. They're going through some sort of Jupiter retrograde. This could be, um, they, and I feel like you're still having, you're, you're coming out on top or you're still having a victory moment. Or all these energies could have maliciously gossiped about you. It's like they watch you. You tell the truth, and then they sit up here. It's like these these are haters that look up to you. Look how he she looking up to her. They're looking up to you for a reason. Because you are a truth teller, you bring clarity to a lot of people. And there's somebody here that's mad that you bring clarity. And not only you bring clarity, but you have healed yourself from a broken heart. You're not jealous. You're not none of that. Somebody here is mad. Judging you. Because of how you being seen or, or whatever this is. Or because like, because you telling the truth. Who is this queen of swords here? The magician. So you could be calling out this false prophet. 
a magician. You could be calling out a Virgo or a Gemini. You could be telling someone that you have the gift of discernment. Like, man, your manipulation tactics don't work on me. So I don't even know why the fuck you even be trying it. This is like someone here that, I don't know. It's like you, your gift of discernment is way more powerful than this person's. What's the magician in reverse, Queen of Swords? What are you saying? Yeah, Seven of Swords. You telling somebody, look, you're caught. You're caught. It's, there's nothing else to talk about. You're caught. The Seven of Swords is out here. So 777, seven, seven, y'all could be seeing that. Y'all on the right side on your spiritual path. I feel like you get a lot of support because you tell the truth or you're open. Because you have mental clarity. You give a lot of people mental clarity. And there's people that's upset. They're mad at you because you do so. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're calling out someone from, from doing some sort of magic or from trying to manipulate you or, or, or whatever. This could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. But this person could be wanting to come clean. They could be rethinking their approach or their conscience is kicking in because of something that you said. Because you, you caught them. Yeah. Seven of Cups, and they're confused. How did you know? How did you know, Virgo, that I'm losing everything with the Ten of Pentacles? Someone just thought that you wasn't intellectual or that you wasn't smart enough or, or whatever this is. They tried to give you some type of smoke and mirrors. You're like, man, I already know what you got going on. And this is why they're reaching out with the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is why they could be reaching out to you. Anything else in closing for Virgo? We have... The Empress in reverse. Yeah, so this could be a distorted feminine that's going through some sort of karma right now. What about this distorted feminine in reverse? This cheater, this Empress in reverse. What about this person? Yeah, they're getting exposed. They're being exposed or something here. The, the light is shining on this Empress in reverse. Yeah, and they're going to have to leave something behind or they're abandoning something. Maybe somebody could have abandoned their child, abandoned their son. Um, yeah, the three of swords, they're a cheater, they're a liar, the three of pentacles, this could be some type of plan that's not working because they're dealing with this king of swords. Somebody here is doing something premeditated. It's just not working. What's the sun? They get exposed. Yep. The two of swords because you receive clarity. So this could be a plan or some type of, um, whatever this is that these energies try to work up and do against you is being exposed. Save like if they wanted to like ruin your opportunities, steal money or scam you or do something malicious towards you. They're all being exposed. Especially this king of cuss with their emotionally manipulative ass. Everybody's getting exposed. And I feel like, um, yeah, a king of cuffs may have to release something to you. This could be in a karmic soulmate. What else is coming for you? We have moving in reverse. For some of you, you don't have to move. You can stay put. You're not moving nowhere. Okay? You may see some bullshit or somebody wants you to move. You have been sleeping on a couch in reverse that somebody hasn't been sleeping on a couch. Yeah, whoever this is, that could have been ignoring you. Or somebody here is trying to ignore you because they're trying to pray now for better days or they're going through something they could be coming in with an offer but this person got an std somebody has an std and they could be coming towards you uh virgo let's see who is this person with this std so my virgos can protect themselves who is this person with this std we have the ace of pentacles whoever this is that could be needing some type of opportunity or money who is this person it could be an aries with an std Who's this person with an SED? The Page of Wands. Yeah, they're not getting some type of good news. The Justice in Reverse. We got Libra Energy. Who's this person with an SED? Somebody wants to come and do something unjust. The Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy. Somebody has Gemini placements. They have Aries placements. Yep, the Two of Wands. They didn't make a good choice, especially with this Capricorn. There's trouble coming out about this person. Yep, the Nine of Wands in Reverse is an SED. There could be another Virgo with an SED. Who has this SED? The Page of Cups, these energies that have been promiscuous, these promiscuous ass lovers, they cannot heal from a situation. We have Sagittarius energy that's going through a backfire right now from doing root work on you. Page of Pentacles in reverse. 
This could have been a hidden agenda. They could have been trying to come towards you right along with this dusty ass King of Pentacles to give you something. That would be this King of Pentacles wish fulfillment if you have this type of STD that they have that they caught from this fucking Queen of Wands of a verse. They're keeping it a secret. All of them. They are keeping it a secret. So this person's going to try to come and manipulate you because you done took your power back. A King of Cups is. They're going to try to manipulate you and make it seem like they're in love with you. They could have got some advice from this person or whoever this is. They got they got advice from this King of Cups to come in and manipulate you, love bomb you and all that shit. Yep, from a fake ass friend, a three of cups, ace of wands, knowing that their penis is sick. Yeah, no. Just be careful, Virgo, in the next couple of days. All right, whoever this is, they're not coming in to take accountability. If you're dealing with someone and somebody wants to come in and say, we are in murky retrograde, somebody wants to come in and love bomb you, they're not going to take accountability for nothing. If they're not going to talk about shit serious, there's nothing to talk about at all. Somebody's at this point trying to waste their fucking time. They need to take their ass to the fucking doctor. Because they're literally trying to infect you with some shit. And this is why this person could be coming back into your life. If they're not trying to go to the fucking doctor with you, no. And you know how you big you are on health, Virgo. You know how big you are on health. Somebody here is nasty. They sleep around with these promiscuous motherfuckers. They have these hoes. And then they think they could come back in. Like, oh, Virgo, I'm in love with you. And it's always that, yeah, I want you. Or just hee hee ha ha. Fuck you. Stop, tell this motherfucker stop trying to play in your face. And take their stupid ass to the doctor. That was your message, Virgo. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on so you will not miss any of my videos. Bye.